Uh, superstar act, superstar, superstore actress uh, Lauren Ash says that people told her, told her that she is no longer a role model because she lost weight. I was gonna say I don't think she's a role model because I've never heard of this person or this sh show. I've never so, seen the show. There are so many like known people now. Yeah, yeah. Being known like, is is very nebulous. No, it's cheaply made. <laughs> so it says uh, Lauren Ash is done with unsolicited comments about her body, and I don't blame her. Like this is one of the things that I have the hardest part about. Like with social media, it's like as great as it is, I'm sure for these people with the nine thousand positive comments that you get, you're going to invite negative ones. And this community in the they love to talk about these communities, the body positivity community. Everything's a community now. You know, uh, and they, they tend to invite a lot of vitriol uh, when you don't when things don't go the way they want them to look at the way they treated Rebel Wilson. Look at the way they treat Adele. Uh, if you make any change whatsoever, uh, they're well, not it's exactly sort of because like that. as a celebrity, you're cemented in people's minds forever as the first time they saw you and people first saw. Uh, Adele back in like what 2009 or something when yep. she was overweight or they first saw Rebel Wilson in Pitch Perfect when she was overweight and that was also like kind of making her the butt of her the jokes so and here she's never she, this is like she's not like hawking diet goods or anything like no. that she's not saying I'm finally uh proud of my body she's saying like I was proud of my body before and I'm I'm proud of my body now uh but the problem is that these people who make some trait of them meaning their weight their entire identity mm -hmm. leads you to really really bizarre behavior and attachment to people and i have the, this is where i have the hugest problem with identity politics is you're connecting with people on the most superficial of levels it, it, to call it connection is really a misnomer i don't really see it that way uh but it says you know what's fun when you're living in a larger body people mo people post that you're they're concerned for your health then when you transition into a smaller body people post that they're concerned for your health starting to feel like there's no winning as a woman big shocker given the past week in america whoa what a profound <laughs> statement that okay. was so deep uh, <clears throat> she said referencing the uh, the recently leaked draft of the supreme court abortion ruling uh to the people who have dm'd me this week telling me i am no longer a role model because i lost weight i guess my question is why was my body the only thing that gave me value as a role model you're she's right like when when you enter a group in your uh in your in your uh, a role model for being for your sexuality or you're a role model for your skin color or you're a role model for your weight those are the most base level surface uninteresting traits we have as human beings in my opinion you're who you are as a person and i will state this till the day i die though your race your gender your sexual orientation should be the least interesting thing about you as a person you go through a million experiences in your lifetime that shape you into this interesting uh mess of characteristics that make you who you are it's uh unkempt it's not the most linear thing in the world but that's kind of the beauty of being human and they want to categorize collate and label everything and that's just boring and stupid i don't believe any of this i i bet only one person used the term role model in one slightly salty dm about this i bet she is not getting these waves of no. weight loss i bet most people barely even noticed and i think her pr agent was like oh, a perfect opportunity to stand for body positivity go you go think? go oh yeah no, I, 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 don't I don't believe think so. any of this i like i hate to be that cynical i, don't know what I to think believe. this is like a pr stunt to catch attention like if you really felt like you needed to address this like fine but what i think is this was the opportunity maybe someone did send a message like you're not a role model because you lost weight but it's not this wave of people she's making it out to be and i feel like it's definitely given her a chance to respond to it like if no one noticed she had lost weight yep th i mean it would have been it's for definitely nothing, not had this it's not encouraged to lose oh. weight in the public eye particularly I like i know that when adele did it people were like oh my gosh i'm worried about her she doesn't look okay i think the things that she's saying are real people get upset when like heavier actresses or performers <clears throat> uh lose weight and they, they feel even like made comments that they didn't think adele would be able to like sing as yeah, well yeah. i've heard that I, I used to work with a, a woman who was a trained operatic singer and she was like look i have to have the lung capacity i have to be bigger fine good no problem with me i just think this whole dramatic caption and pose photo is just i mean maybe she meant it really authentically but it is coming across as like a pr grab to stay in the headlines this is an old article that asks some really interesting questions that i just want to kind of pose openly and it's uh this is from impact and it says why do female artists receive backlash for losing weight 
uh, the, the reason I would say it's not that female artists get backlash for losing weight. It's that female artists who make their weight part of their packaging Identity. in character get backlash for losing weight. Uh, well, I it think has that... to be because your image is everything that you're yes. selling. Um, and I actually feel worse for Adele and um, Rebel Wilson because Rebel Wilson gets cast as like, she was getting cast as like the chunky sidekick who made people laugh. And she the never death. she never necessarily agreed that like she wasn't like, this is what I want to do forever. Right. And mm -hmm. losing weight gives her access to other roles. And that's can be a difficult reality, but it is probably true. Adele never said, oh, well, I only want to be overweight. Right. She never agreed to that in term for her performing. The entire Stars medium of her performance was had nothing to do with had how nothing she to do with it and so with Lizzo who's now have her sh like her shapewear line and it's a huge part of what she talks about like yeah if she were to suddenly lose weight I could understand where you'd be like wait this feels hypocritical like you made being a heavy woman in the spotlight something worth discussing and I'm not against that I think that this woman who's on a show that I've never heard of also trying to be like me too guys I'm being attacked as a part of this community it's it just doesn't feel authentic mm -hmm. to me uh, so this is the problem I have when you, uh, when, when everything becomes about representation and all that is represented is the most superficial characteristics you possess. That is where these problems come up because they're not looking for characters or stories to entertain you. They're looking for role models and people to represent what they look like, which is why when you, uh, carry a trait, like say you're, uh, if you're, um, uh, you can't really do that with LGBTQIA. I guess you could come out, I guess, again, as like, I'm no longer, like, I'm I'm only going to date somebody of this gender or something like that and change, like, I'm no longer bi, I'm just going to date men, or I'm no longer bi, I'm just going to date women, and that would change your, uh, your role in that. That's less binary, but with this movement it says some fans felt betrayed uh, that she had turned back, that she had turned her back on the body positivity movement. So, is it are you so like wrapped up in what your image what this person's image means about you that you have to get angry when they change something about themselves because it turns the mirror back on you and makes you realize that it's I just from, didn't realize some of these artists had signed away their bodies to people they don't know online. Yep, they right? did. Well, like, from from Lizzo, I get the stronger impression that it is a big part of her brand. Yes. to be you know overweight, far and more so than the proud other of it, and yeah. that is like a huge part of her image and uh, why people deemed her uh, easy to sell. It says, are we still so shallow that we still see women as mere aesthetic objects? You're doing the same thing. In body positivity, you are no less aesthetically using them for their image just because it's a different image than what is considered traditionally that, beautiful. You're doing the exact same thing. You're no better than right. them. You're telling them their aesthetic is no longer up to your standard, yeah. which is like what you're saying they shouldn't care about in the first place. It's uh, it's hypocritical. It's unbelievably rude to me, but that's uh, with women. It's going to happen more than with men because women are traditionally held to different uh, uh, look standards. But it's also like you don't see a lot of like if you look at old videos of like the old Ghostbusters, they don't m male movie stars don't really look like Dan Aykroyd anymore. They do not. They look more like Tom uh, Henry Cavill or Tom Cruise. I, or I guess it's Tom Look, Cruise. Looks and trends go in and out of fashion. Twiggy is one of the all time famous supermodels, but before her, she, the idea of like having a rail thin model was not common. It was not yeah. standard. And I think that like we are an advanced enough society to accept that there are lots of different healthy body shapes and types. Mm -hmm. But I just think it's crazy that we have this one actress being like, Stop saying I'm not a role model while I make my entire identity about my weight. Right I don't now. see any evidence that she made her that in the entirety of her identity. No, uh, not not Lauren Ash, but like someone like Lizzo definitely yes. Lizzo is did. like heavy handed I think this, about it. I think hardcore. Lauren Ash is making like ha by having this like big conversation about her weight and how people by even make her this post. like I feel like she's trying to be like me too. Put if 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 Adele and uh, Rebel Wilson are out, out like put me as like one of the people that you're looking after. Mm -hmm. um, but again, I am just uh, like, obviously this has rubbed me the wrong way. And if it's important to someone else, I get that. Um, I think that this like body positivity movement is so strange because it does not 
let anyone change like mary's totally right we expect people to stay stay the way we decided we liked them a long time ago and like the reality is even people who are not famous like if you have a kid your body's going to change if your health changes if you decide that you're really into biking and you suddenly get very muscular like it's totally normal for bodies to change it's crazy to me that we have people who have to stay overweight in order to stay lovable well, yeah, no, and it's not even to be loved. It's to be uh, so that person can look back at them. So whoever that random Joe Schmo 32 that really looks up to Lauren Ash for her for her um, figure so that they can feel uh, comfortable in their own bodies because there's somebody else who's more successful than they are that looks the same way. It's it's more about being sellable than lovable. There are also like male actors who have a reputation for kind of yo-yoing and weight like jonah hill for instance mm -hmm. i know people have paid attention to his weight a lot uh kevin james yeah is a bigger yeah guy. and like i this is reminding me of this ad i saw a couple of days ago um that i had no idea what it was about so i wanted to keep watching i guess <laughs> i'm like so advertising does work completely Crazy. uh slave to the corporations for that one but um it it, it was like Basically, this woman talking about the fact that her thighs touch and how, like, oh, they that's hate a thigh great gap. thing. And uh, if they, you're happy that way, that's cool. But it was, like, making some kind of, like, poetry out of it. You should feel bad for having a thigh and gap. And then at say. the very end, it the tagline of the commercial was, worship yourself. And no then, thanks. and then it, just showed, the then it just showed. Then it just showed the Nair logo. So yep. the whole the whole commercial, like thirty seconds later, they reveal that it was about Nair. Me and me and you have had this discussion off air. Like I find the worship yourself, the self, the over the top self love movement really abhorrent. Only a and, bunch of people that deeply, deeply hate themselves yeah. need to lean that far in the other direction. Yep. Yeah. And it's just fake. I think it's like people with astronomically low self-esteem yep. who have to constantly think about themselves and breeds this culture of narcissism yep, it's i mean if lizzo were to lose however much weight she wants to or if she were to gain a bunch more it actually does not affect anyone on this planet but her uh, and i think that this idea that we need to value how we look like you can't say love yourself the way you are especially if this other person is doing it too that tells you that you're you're doing the right thing like you can't have this constant push for outward validation while also standing by this narrative of like everyone's beautiful and the way they are mm -hmm. like you are promoting something that does not align with the behavior you're cultivating i think we used to uh as a society care about how we looked for the sake of like reflecting our dignity as mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. and now uh, how you look and like changing how you look has entirely to do with like what kind of commodity are you yeah and we're a much more sexual society at this point in time mm -hmm. so a lot of it has to do with like when they talk about these female artists being overweight it's like but you should find them sexy and it's you not even them like we're a more sexual society in if anything we're just more like kind of uh obsessed with sex and then like making yeah, it we're into more a, overtly a product sexual society. and then everyone has less sex appeal than than we all used to because yep. we look worse <laughs> i saw an article well, the other it's day. all anyone can think about yeah right? like we're saying it's about self-esteem but really what they're saying is like people should find you attractive the way you are which like when we didn't talk about this so much was probably still yeah. true it's why it still bothers me when they talk about this stuff in movies there was the tom hiddleston uh, thing from Marvel about like why there's more work to do about having uh, LGBTQ representation in, in movies. I'm like, why? Why nobody's having sex in these movies? Very well, ve very they are. <laughs> very rarely in these movies are they doing it a, a romance story. And if it is, it is sub category plot at best why is there more work to do why can't we just accept that some people see the they world have differently to say that yeah because like, you can't leave it alone it's, there always has to be more work to do you can't have a victory a so-called victory and then be satisfied with it i think sorry to go back to the body positivity thing like i think some of this is them trying to be like look at adele or lizzo lizzo is the example the big example because she's so outspoken about her weight and how that affects her confidence and it's like if you too are overweight you also can be just as confident as lizzo you just have to believe and look she's doing it and then you get into stuff like she's launching her own shaper line and that is like 
oh, look, like something Lizzo endorses and Lizzo's confident about how she weighs, so how much she weighs. So I too will also feel good if it's, I buy her product. So Can I ask you an honest though? Because sell. shapewear is literally about looking skinny. I need to ask you an actual question. I don't want people to take this the wrong way. Uh, I'm not trying to be rude or disrespectful. What is the difference between body positivity activist and fat activist? I think that the in within this camp there's a division so body positivity would be the people who say like the way you are is good and like you know it can there is a space where this is like a normal not crazy to all the way to the extreme of like however you want your body to be is good which like i disagree with because obviously there are some the furthest standards. extreme is um being fat has nothing to do with your health well like being overweight and i think fat has nothing activists to do with your health also can come and I'm out only... as against other body types fat is okay. better and i've also I'm... seen the body neutrality movement which is just that you shouldn't base your self-worth on how you how your body looks what which is just normal no way <laughs> yeah and it's crazy that we need how can they sell we you need things a movement based on that kind of crazy i'm <laughs> sick of the term movement and i'm sick of the term community because and a hashtag and a they're the le they're the least community. I, when i hear when i he read stuff that quotes fat activists fat activists often like talk about how like they are being kind of attacked or like there is movement against them there is like in a way that other body types don't feel it like they are being shamed or being excluded from clothing lines because they're not they don't come the right sizes or things like that and like it's a kind of an extreme camp. I'm only mentioning that because they talk about it in this um, article about body t uh, about shapewear. Uh, can it be body positive? And some people are saying yes, it can. Some people are saying no, it can't. Mm -hmm. And all of this just comes off as like a weird, like like you said, it's a product that they're selling you now, and it's just uh, which is so like the I have to say so shapewear. If you don't know, for all maybe my male listeners out there are like spanks or things that like push your body so it fits like more traditional hourglass shapes or whatever else. Kim Kardashian and has skims, right? There's tons that's, of them. The famous one is women spanks. used to have corsets. Yeah, and now they have a new corset. It's mm -hmm. it's not weird. Like also like people can find them comfortable. Like they can help posture. There's a lot of reasons to wear this stuff. Um, Lizzo came out with one called Giddy. And people were like, oh my gosh, hooray, black woman owned bland, brand. Like she's a body positivity role model, whatever. But it's actually a subsidiary of Fabletics. Like it's not even her um, own company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty common in skating for like people to start their own company and then you find out that it's just owned by a conglomerate. Right. Or like a, a bigger. Which uh, is like, camp. they're just trying to sell you a product. Like all they're trying to do is sell you the same stuff that Fabletics probably already makes. It's just in colors that that Lizzo picked and out. Branding, there, there's branding changes to it and stuff like that. But like so. they're selling you something that already exists that you might have been offended by if they hadn't put Lizzo's face on it. Yes. So, well, well. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.